friends, so today we are making a Christian graphic tee. Super simple, super quick. I have designed a file for you. It's linked down below. Make sure you hop down and grab that file. It's free for the first week and then it hops into the shop. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do that so you don't miss any of our future freebies. So go down, grab the file, download it to your computer, and I'll meet you on Design Space. You are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop. So now we're in design space and I've opened up a new project. So what we want to do now is we want to upload that design that I was telling you about. So we hit upload and then we go to upload image and you can browse your computer and pick out any image you like. I have already uploaded it just to save time. So it's right here and then we're going to insert the image. Okay, so now that it's on our canvas, I like my t-shirt designs typically to be about eight inches across, eight, eight and a half. So this one's already set up um, to work for that dimension. Um, but if you need it to be bigger or smaller, all you have to do is grab it in the corner and resize. So the other thing I wanted to show you is if you would like to um, you know, change the color of one of the words, you just go over into layers and you click on the letter and so say you wanted it to be a royal velvet. So then, uh, excuse me, violet. <laughs> so then you're going to um, you know, change one of the letters and then you can go up into color sync and move down the rest of the letters for Jesus um, into you know, that new color. I am actually going to keep um, everything black. I'm doing black glitter on a black and gray t-shirt. I'm thinking it's gonna look really cute. And so I'm gonna leave everything black. The next thing that you can do at this point is, um, if you've not already, is save your project. So I've already saved mine, but you need to make sure that you save it. And then you hit make it. I did this on purpose because I wanted you guys to see what happens um, whenever you pull something in like this and you haven't attached the image. So it just, it comes all to the mat, but it's all a little jumbled. So what we want to do is we want to hit cancel. We're going to go back and you see how pretty it is on your canvas. We're going to highlight the whole thing and then we're going to um, go over here and just hit attach. So now that we've attached it, let's hit make it again and see your mat is perfect everything's exactly where it should be so because we are using this as an iron-on design we need to make sure that we mirror our image so we hit mirror and you see it flips everything around and now we're ready we're ready to pick our material. So now we have a choice of all of our different materials um, if you haven't already favorited materials See, these have stars. These are ones that I've used or used a ton, and so I favorite them so that they just show up in my favorites. Um, but you can also go to browse all materials and get a complete list of not only Cricut materials, but other materials that they have tested um, and gotten the right depth for, for their machines. So I actually um, already have mine in favorites, so I'm gonna be using a glitter iron-on. And if you, for some reason, needed your pressure to be um, you know, more, you could actually do that or less. I'm just gonna use the normal pressure. Um, and my maker is already attached. And then the next thing we do is go to the machine and hit um, to load the mat and then hit to cut. And we're ready to go. Okay, so now we're ready to load our mat. We already have the right type of blade in, so we simply hit cut. Okay, so our design is cut. The biggest thing I can tell you about weeding is to be very careful of any small elements. So for this one, we have raised on Jesus and the eye and raised, just be super careful that you don't pull it away whenever you're um, taking up your design. So what I like to do is start um, with my weeding tool and I start on the bigger elements, the elements that I'm not as worried about. So we're gonna start there and just start pulling away. Um, and then when we get around the 
lettering above and below Jesus, we're just going to be super careful, okay? So let me show you like a for instance. So if we go up here, pull away a little underneath that design. And this is the front of the raised. So I know my eye is in there. And you know, I have a uh, bright pad and I use it for um, a ton of these types of projects. And if you have difficulty seeing, see there's the dot, any of your projects, it is so worth it to break out that bright pad so that you don't accidentally, see how tiny that is? You don't accidentally pull away an element of your design and then you're trying so very hard to put it back. Now, glitter iron-on comes off pretty easy, so it's really more about being able to see your lettering. See how smoothly that came? And if you um, want to save, I, I love saving my material. I hate wasting anything. So if you, um, for instance, have an area of material, so we're gonna have a little bit like a square here, and there might be another little element somewhere else, make sure and cut that out. Um, instead of tearing it away from the base, cut it out so that you don't lose that. Okay, so we'll just keep on weeding this and then we'll iron it on. Okay, so now we have, um, the design has been weeded and we're ready. We have our uh, Easy Press all fired up. I checked, this is a polyester shirt and so I need it to be on 330 degrees and for 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is, um, you always want to preheat your fabric just a smidge and I've already done that, but I wanna measure this really quickly and show you guys that this is the center point um, of my shirt. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my S at that center point. And then I'm going to have roughly one, two, three, four, five inches, one, two, three, four, five inches on either side. I'm gonna kinda of hold that down, take up my ruler and then put down the rest of my design. This one's super simple because we just have one color, they're all together. There's not a lot of measuring to do, but I think that's gonna look good, right? Okay, so everything is centered and ready and we're just going to pick up our Easy Press 2 and this is the largest size Easy Press. Place it down, we're gonna hit the go button and then give it gentle pressure. So for a polyester shirt and glitter iron-on, you want five seconds of preheat of the material. Then you want to do 30 seconds um, on the front and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do another um, 30 seconds on the back. And that's just to make sure that it's fully heated all the way through. And then this shirt should last for 50 plus washes. Okay, and so now it's ready to be pulled away. Just go slow, pull from an angle, and if anything acts like it wants to come up, immediately put the um, put the piece back down and iron it again. But see how perfect that is? It's gonna be gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed making this shirt as much as I did. I can't wait to wear it. Make sure you hop down and get that free SVG and then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get all of our freebies before they hop into the shop in a week. And I will see you guys next time.